Robin? Where are you? I can't see you. Come into the light. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. And as for you, if you've got something nice to say, then shut the fuck up. We're looking at Trapped Alive with a brief appearance by Cameron Mitchell. I noticed that, huh? Uh huh. Two women battle through the snow to reach a party. Do you realize, innocent child, that just five miles down the road, a horde of beautiful and horny young men are panting for our bodies? The stakes couldn't be higher, but this is a bad area. That's like an open acknowledgement they're going to get out. <laughs> Which is accurate, as the girls are hijacked by escaped convicts. The whole army couldn't put us back in there, could they, Face? Right, Mungo. Face and Mungo, bad guy names. But their driver, Hot Rod, has got young, innocent, I got forced into this, written across his cliched character. The girls are Monica and... Uh, I didn't catch the other's name. It's Robin. Bit of a manly name, if you ask me. Speaking of names, they drive into the grounds of a disused mine. Forever Mine was the title of the film while it was being made in 1988, but had changed by the time it was released in 1993. Always a sign of quality. They enter the mine. And go deeper. Mungo landing badly. Has anyone got a goddamn light? <laughs> Meanwhile, the deputy sheriff has arrived to look for the convicts. I'm sorry, operator. I didn't mean to shout. I'm having a hard time hearing you. That's okay. How's your bit of the film going? Ours is terrible. Yes. It's bad here, too. Frankly, I'm thinking of switching off. If you could just try it one more time. All right, but if it gets any dumber, I'm bailing. Thank you. And the tense plotline of four people trapped in a mine takes a brief pause while the deputy gets his end away. Down. Down. Until you find a shaft. Carry on trapped alive. Back in the mine and things are going badly. Hot Rod goes back to the entrance and finds that something has eaten Mungo's face. Robin is locked in a room, and it seems that she's not alone. And Monica... Dance for me. Strictly trapped alive. No! 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 It's lockstep ball change open turn, not lockstep ball change reverse spin. Let's try something else. Strip. Daddy. Isn't it amazing how even with its protagonists trapped in a mine, an 80s film will always find a way to include a strip scene. And this is while Robin is apparently under attack. That's what we should be focused on. <laughs> oh good, the deputy has stopped nailing the locals for long enough to do his job. Somebody help Robin, she's probably dead by... Oh, thank God. Last time we saw her... <laughs> ...followed by 15 minutes where we don't know what's going on, and then... But I thought there was something in here trying to get me, but there wasn't. Obviously it's foreshadowing something, but just not how tension is built. This is bad shit. Also, we have to deal with Robin's epic case of Stockholm Syndrome. So are you upset about being caught? 50 conversation starters to use on escaped convicts. Randy and Robin, it sort of has a nice ring to it, don't you think? I actually don't. It's really important for me to know why you're in jail. Probably should have asked that first. I predict a sob story. But it'll take a powerful music cue to sell it. And then he hits this little kit. You just, you know. Well, now I know you're only accessory to child murder, I'm completely on side. And that does seem to be where the movie thinks I should be. 
Those other two are killers. Does that make me a killer? The deputy's not exactly covered himself in glory. Does it turn you on? But he came down here to help the girls, while Hot Rod, now going by Randy, has just stood there while they are kidnapped, threatened and abused. Your jokes are killing me, man. And subscribers will already be aware of how much this pisses me off. Anyway, the film now takes something of a left turn. <laughs> Not totally unexpected, but we are now an hour in. <laughs> the three survivors try to escape. I'm going down. If they put half the effort into the story that they put into finding spurious reasons for the women to take their clothes off. She's looking for a way out, but they don't even end up going that way. And while she's gone... <laughs> Shit. The fact that she's down there too and they somehow miss each other just makes it even more ridiculous. <laughs> menaced them for 20 minutes of a 90-minute movie. Who was he, anyway? Congratulations! You killed my father! Here's the thing. This ought to be Predator Underground, but it's so badly done. No, I know this may sound silly. I actively dislike the hero. The storytelling is all over the place. The love story gets the Dark Corners Fifty Shades of Grey award for a woman falling in love with her abuser, and the ending is ridiculous. Well, I guess that doesn't really matter anymore, does it? <laughs> Plus, Robin is clearly a man's name. <laughs> Thanks for watching. There's lots more to say about this movie, and if you'd like to see an uncensored version of this review, then join us on Patreon as an acolyte. What would be another good setting for a Predator-type movie? Let us know in the comments below. We're out of here.